bottom right starting location. He has to turn this around or he'll continue his legacy as a tragic hero of the GSL code S. He is. LGIM Yonghua. Actually, I guess not even the tragic hero of the GSL code S, the tragic hero of StarCraft 2. Yeah. Guy everybody knows is good, but just can't get uh, far enough. In the upper left, we have our Terran player playing brilliantly in that last game. He is. Startail Bomber. Bomber. A nice little wristband there. Make sure he doesn't get carpal tunnel. Also, I guess, draw some sweat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going for the proxy. He did this last time on this map. But this time, no gas. And no second SCV either. Oh, okay, he gets so the gas late, now. Late gas, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. He had the exact same location, just reversed uh, right spawnings. Now. So... Well, I mean, it's one of those weird strategies where you do it a second time, nobody thinks... I mean, I even said, I'm like, we're not going to see that Bomber do that strategy again today, and then he's doing it. I suppose Young Hwa's thinking the same thing, like, Bomber would never do that a second time, because I could just check for it, but chances are Young Hwa won't. You know what's funny is, uh, last time the transition for uh, Super was just to go into Blink Stalkers, and I think that Young Hwa is going to play this a little bit differently if he holds it well. He's going to just play a more standard build. Yeah. Which is probably not his plan from the beginning, but he's actually chrono boosting a zealot. That's going to help him quite a bit. Whenever you think it's just a star sense. Yeah, I mean, he has scouted nothing. He just has a feeling. I mean, look at the way he's chrono, uh, the way he's rallied it. Uh, it's like he just. He just. He just knows. He just knows. Wow, well. He's not going to. Is he going to check? No, nope. he does not. Okay, so that he's was just a rally. Up. Okay. I thought for a second he'd rallied it like right there at the edge. So this means the Reaper actually can get in there and do a lot of damage. Yeah, you know, this, the funny thing is getting the two zealots actually is more of a hindrance than a help because they just can't actually yeah, they fight can't the catch Reaper. up. And now Young Ma knows. But you know what he's going to do? He's going to send the zealot yeah. into the Terran's main, which is a really smart move. I really like that. But at the same time, he could make a Reaper over here in his main because there's a second barracks being made there. Yeah, I think that's going to help. He's probably going to just micro his SCVs back at home, but it's going to be tough to do that while also microing this Reaper. No kills so far, and a pretty solid defense here by Young with just standard Mothership core timing. Zealot coming across here. There's no bunker. There's not even a single Marine. He's going to I don't even know if he even knows, actually. I don't think he does. I think he's going to be completely caught off guard. Oh, that command center is going to have to be canceled if Young all wants it. <laughs> yeah. And now he's going to see this one Zealot here. All right, everything has gone to crap right now for Bomber. This is Murphy's Law working on Bomber here. <laughs> And he actually nicely microed on the SCVs, but he still loses two, at least three. Nice! Really good targeting there. Yeah, so good control by both sides, actually. Yeah. But I like Young Wa's position a lot because he has units to go out and pressure. Now he can leave the Mothership Core at home to defend against the Reapers if they come back. And he can go ahead and attack with uh, with his Stalker, Zealot Force. Stop the bunker, maybe. He's not committing, though. The Reaper is going to be able to get in here. Well, nope, never mind. The Mothership Corps will drive it out. And this barracks is going to be sent back home. Now, when we had Super um, experience this against Bomber, Super went for a blink all-in. It looks like Young is going to just play a standard, steady game. Yeah. Which is very, very much like Young <clears throat> It's true, and he has a massive probe lead, and the command center is a little bit delayed for Bomber, so that's actually coming into play here for a long time. And the Stalker could actually <clears throat> pick off an SCV here. Barely not. Yep, driving the Stalker out. Stalker only losing shields. And we have a Forge now on the way here. So, um, Young Wa is deeming conservative play as the way to go. Now, I'm really curious to see if Bomber is going to do an SCV pull here. Yeah, uh, you know, I think he will, uh, given the circumstances here. Because when it comes to tech, he's in a very uncomfortable position right now. He has late stim. He has no real ground pressure by tech. He will have some Marines to try to come in here and poke with, but with the Mothership Corps being out this early with this much energy, he doesn't have a lot of potential for aggression, so he has two choices. One is to go gear up for that push, pair up a lot of barracks. The other one is to get a fast third command center yeah. as soon as possible to counteract the balance here. Uh, those are his choices, basically. There's no real in-between. The Reaper going to come through here again. You know, with the Reaper having the regen, it's so nice for, uh, for pokes and scouts. Yeah. Yoma oh. has four gases up now. Mothership Core nearly full energy. And Bomber is going down that plus one stim path again. Yeah, so far it looks it looks exactly like that, Wolf. We have the uh, Colossus tech on the way here. Now, it's possible that when Bomber gets a big enough army, he'll push out and try to trigger the uh, Nexus cannon. 
and then just run away again. Exactly. Just try to waste that energy. Uh, so in the future, when he attacks a second time, we'll be okay. Or at least, uh, you know, be able to do a little bit more damage potentially. So, yeah. Twilight Council and Robotic Swarpe going up at the same time here. Going down both paths so we can get the Colossi and get additional upgrades for armor. It looks like that's going to be the plan here rather than getting an attack. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't get that Twilight Council this quick. Yeah, I got to agree with that. So, uh, once he gets this uh, starport done, he's going to obviously put that, uh, attach that to the uh, reactor, which the factory's making. And probably, I think I speak, did we miss something? The Reaper died. Ah, oh, the Reaper died, okay. He got unlucky where he jumped up. Now, yeah, with the uh, Metabax going to be out soon, that's when Terran really has the ability to go out on the map, and that might be when we see that Nexus Cannon trigger. Yeah. He's going to have two of them, because his Militia Core has been out that long, where he has both uh, available to him. He can hit both next side if he kind of hovers around the ramp. And young is he going to try to take a third base here? He certainly could, uh, with the position he's in in this game, and that would, of course, trigger Bomber to pull his SCVs if he scouts it. Yeah. And Thermal Lance on the way here. I don't think young is going to take a third base right Not away. Not yet. That's too risky at this point Well, just because you see how Bomber's been playing all day today, you got to think, like, ugh. You gotta be I thinking about I might this. as well just uh, sit back and turtle a little bit and, and just tell him, like, you know, kind of bring it on with your push. Yeah, exactly. Try to get into a perfect position, get the right force fields up, all that. I like him leaving the probe around here so we can always check just on the weird outside chance a bomber does, in fact, take a third command center in this yeah. situation. Okay, now we're gonna have a push. It's gonna be similar to what we saw before a drop in the main and maybe even an attack in the front. Now, he did a great job with that in the last game we saw. Wait, did he have, yeah, the Observer actually saw that, so... Yeah, he's moving into position to defend now. He's just got to make sure his Mothership Core is in range to put overcharges on both Nexi, if yeah. need be. This, uh, you know what, he actually, I'm not so sure he saw it, because... Well, yeah, yeah well, I'm confused. He's going to get, like, a pylon and a few other things here. Yeah, he's going to at least get one he's pylon. Attack okay, he, is, he should have seen it, but he wasn't paying attention there. Exactly, you know, you, some of you don't see the blip on the mini-map. He's going to get two pylons, I think. Oh, uh, is he gonna fight this army? There's a Colossus here. Might not be nice the best choice. Nice pickup, though. Yeah, I tried to get as many units as he could before. Thought he was got maybe out. gonna target down the sentries there. It was still an okay trade for him. I like it. Yeah. And when it comes to upgrades, he did not actually get plus two armor, <coughs> Youngwa. That is, so he's about to have one one and can continue the upgrades out. He does have Blink on the other hand, which just finished. Would have been nice to have against the drops. Uh, speaking oh, of which, he's actually gonna get this uh. one, I think. No. Wasted his blink before. Wow, yeah. Five hit points left. Still, he traded. Oh, he killed almost everything. Lost almost nothing. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, again, Bomber going to go back here and regroup uh, with that third CC on the way. Uh, it looks like Yonghua is going to be the guy who's actually uh, powering harder in this case. Yeah, he's he has that forward pylon that we saw earlier at the top mm -hmm. right. He's going to hit an attack with this. Yeah. He has three Colossi 15 Stalkers. There's only two Vikings and Stalker out. Colossi is so popular nowadays. This is a really good unit combo to have here. Um, Tasis, is, I'm not sure he I'm holds not, this. I'm not sure he does either, Wolf. I think this is going to be a tricky spot. Now, he, I like how he's bringing the army out like this. Oh, but he's actually going to go. I don't think oh he knows. Oh, Bomber is doing his normal thing, but it's not the right time. I know. I was going to say, he's probably caught off guard by that. Uh, and now the Mothership Core does go down. Some redundant time warps here, but the Colossi are still protected, and those bio units are not doing anything at all. He's doing a good job with those Vikings, by the way, really keeping them out of range of the Stalkers. All the time warps really working against him, though, and I think that Youngwa just has too much. I mean, he's got uh, the concave here, and he can blink on top of the Vikings yeah, now. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go to game number three here. That was funny, man, when he pulled the uh, CDs, yeah. and all of a sudden he's like, what? You know, are you attacking me? Well, I guess I'm going to use these to defend then. Young it's one's just one sitting there one. going, you're doing this every time. Every time, bro. Uh, I got to wonder if uh, Bomber's going to experience the same problem that Sue had, where Sue just kept doing the same strategy. And you have to be uh, flexible Yeah. Again, you know, in, in your play style. Young Hua has been flexible. Super's been flexible. Bomber, not not as much. Really? I mean, he just is doing SCV timings, which are strong, but if you do it every single time... His openings are different, right? He goes for the Reaper build, but he already he, did that he, earlier, too. He you ends know? up in the same place, though, every time as well. Exactly. Polar Knight is the final map choice here between these two. One of them is going to be eliminated here in this final set. Yeah, hard to say who it's going to be. It's neck and neck right now. Polar, map, uh, Polar Knight, excuse me, one of our newer maps. Yeah, we um, haven't quite figured it out completely yet. Yeah, we're, learning, really has. we're learning some of these maps along with you guys because they're so new. It's yeah. interesting to see how pro gamers elect to play on them. Yeah, definitely a really fun experience because of the same maps on the ladder. So 
you can play them at home too. Yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. So we got the game loading up. It's a one-on-one -on -one map. I don't know if Bomber's gonna do that same strategy again. We'll see. We've been seeing a lot of patterns here today. And in just a little bit, we're going to see who is going to be one of the final players to be eliminated here in the round of 32. Will it be Youngwa or will it be Bomber here at the GSL Codex? Oh